Hello, in this video we're going to look at OneSearch and how we can topic search within OneSearch. We'll then find an ebook and I'll show you how to add it to your eShelf. So first of all, when you go to OneSearch you can access this in various different ways through the library website, the student portal or the iLancaster app or you can just type it into your search engine and it'll find it. When you get here it's important that you log in. So we'll click on the link We'll sign in as staff and students and normally you put your username and password in. Mine's been remembered on this computer so I can see my name there now at the top. Okay, so let's search in the search bar here. So if we look for the topic study skills, and at the moment let's search for full text online. Now we can see that it's found a lot of results, over 2 million. And we can narrow these down in different ways over on this side. Or if we see the one that we like, this one, for instance, by Cottrell, we can just click on the title. And we'll then get a link to show us where this is available as an ebook. We can click on the link. The ebook loads up. And we can see the various different things we can do with this. Now, this book isn't available for full download, but we can download chapters up to 65 pages in total or we can just read them online using this option here. So if we know that we want to read chapter two, developing your skills, we can either download the PDF or read online. Let's choose read online. And there is the chapter, it loads up and I can start reading it. I can also search within the ebook if I want to, if I have more keywords, or I have a whole suite of various different things that I can do at the top like highlighting sections etc so that's finding the ebook now if you want to save this for another day we can do that back in one search so here there is a little pin if i click on the pin it says pin to my e-shelf and that's now gone to my e-shelf so if i go back and next to my name there is a pin there and it'll take me to my e-shelf. There is Cottrell's book saved to me along with some of the others that I have there. So I can come back a different day and don't have to search for it again. I go to my e-shelf, click on the link and the book opens up. Hopefully you've found that little tutorial helpful. For more information, have a look at our YouTube channel or see the suite of help that's available on the library website. Thank you.